The human ear is an extraordinary um, tool which has probably preserved us as a species for a lot longer than we otherwise would have lived. On the one hand, the ear has tremendous redundancy. We're able to, in the worst possible conditions here, for example, in a crowded room, what somebody is saying. On the other hand, the ear is very, very sensitive to small differences. We can actually detect as sound movements of our eardrum which are less than the width of a hydrogen atom. You can become more and more sensitive to the things that you're listening out for depending, of course, on, on the quality of sound that you're getting. What that means is that you can enjoy music in the worst possible conditions, but you'll enjoy it even more when it's done well. It's the holy grail. How do you get something to sound the same live as recorded? Authenticity is about somehow capturing the essence of music and finding some way of recreating that in the living room or in the headphones of, uh, of the end user. We always need to refer back to live acoustic sounds. These sounds have an absolute value. You can go and hear musicians making these sounds without amplifiers, without loudspeakers. When we then build audio equipment, we first make sure that it can reproduce these authentic sounds. There is an effect that's implied by the physics and the mathematics of how loudspeakers work that makes the low notes arrive late. And that can lead to an effect where the bass sounds boomy or loose or slow. Because we have DSP in our loudspeakers, we process signals in the digital domain. That allows us to pull some tricks and we have a mechanism called EBA that allows us to make a correction to that delay. What we abbreviate as EBA is enhanced bass alignment. And the bass alignment of a loudspeaker is really an expression of the mathematics that governs the bass of the loudspeaker, the low frequencies. And we've changed the rules with EBA about how that's done. When we actually engaged this technology, what we found was that this had another subjective effect, one that was a little surprising. And that effect is that the space within which you hear the musical instrument appears much more clear. Suddenly you hear the individual players placed in the space in three dimensions in a way that's just so much more convincing. I'm watching a concert and I see there's a pianist, there's a string quartet, there's a chap on double bass, there's some percussion, it's a three-dimensional space that I want to hear when I hear a recording. Ultimately, I'm into this old-fashioned idea of, of high fidelity, and fidelity being closeness to what happens at the recording session, closeness to the intentions of the artist. When you're listening to a loudspeaker system that has EBA, you feel much closer to the performers. It's as if all of the distractions are taken away, and that allows you that emotional engagement as, as if you were there. Really, it carries you to a different place, and that's very exciting to hear.